Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on orders over $10. From July 6, 2020 through August 7, 2020, if you use this promo code, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a double Masters Booster Box. Also, there is another way to win where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to this special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. This is our Picks of the Month video, and today we're going to talk about 10 cards that did not make it into Double Masters. Now, just a quick word about this video series before we get into it. It does go out first to the Gold Patrons. By the time you see this on YouTube, it could be 24 to 48 hours later, and prices could have shifted a little bit. So you might ask yourself, why should I care about cards that did not make it into Double Masters? Well, these are cards that could potentially be going up in value. Once people realize, you know what, we don't know when these are going to be reprinted again, they might want to go out there, pull the trigger, make some purchases, and you could start to see prices begin to climb up. However, remember, this is 2020. We live in a world where Wizards reprints everything all the time, it feels like. So I wouldn't necessarily say that these cards aren't going to be reprinted anytime soon. We have Commander Legends coming up, and we've seen so many secret layers, and I'm sure that's going to continue. So if your intent is to buy cards just because you think they're going to go up in value, I don't really think anything's safe other than, of course, cards on the reserve list, which even those might not necessarily be safe because of a lot of market manipulation that has been occurring too. With that being said, though, if any of the cards that you see here today are maybe cards you wanted to pick up for a deck, this might not be a bad time to do so. But again, you never know. Wizards could surprise us with a reprint right around the corner. We're going to go in color pie order, beginning with Kozilek Butcher of Truth. All the cards today do have some value behind them. There's no budget pickups here. And again, we're not talking about cards that are necessarily the best gameplay-wise, but cards that potentially could be going up in value a little bit in the not-too-distant future. So like most of the cards we're going to see today, this is not cheap. The copy from Rise of the Eldrazi 5755, Modern Masters 2015 5128, and Ultimate Masters is at 5145 right now. This card does see some legacy play many times in Mono Green Cloud Post, but it does see a lot of commander play in builds like Kozilek the Great Distortion, Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy, and more. Here's Kozilek's partner in crime, Ulamog the Infinite Gyre, the Rise of the Eldrazi copy at $43.38, the Modern Masters 2015 at $45, and the Ultimate Masters copy at $42.10. This doesn't really see much legacy play like the previous card, but it does see commander play in the same places. That brings us to a highly played card with Snapcaster Mage, the Innistrad copy of 4149, the Modern Masters 2017 copy of 4337, and the Ultimate Masters copy is at 4499 currently. This sees play in multiple formats, including Modern and Control builds, Grixis, Death Shadow, and more. Legacy, this is in Miracle builds and more there. In Vintage, many times you'll find this in Blue Xerox, Paradoxical Outcome, and other decks there too, and it's even seen some increased commander play recently in Kalimax the Storm Sire builds. Next we have Damnation. This does see some modern play, but it has become a highly played commander board sweep and has been seeing more play recently in newer builds like Tiny Bones Trinket Thief and Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose. The Planar Chaos copy is at 4573 right now, and the Modern Masters 2017 copy is at 3743. Lily Anna of the Val is next, and of course this does see play in modern Jund and other places there. This is also seeing more play in Commander now because of Tiny Bones again. The Innistrad copy is at $69.75, the Modern Masters 2017 copy is at $64.99, and the Ultimate Masters copy is at $67.95. That brings us to Vampiric Tutor. Recently we saw Grim Tutor reprinted. I'm sure at some point this is going to get a reprint. This card has a lot of value attached to it now. It does see play in vintage decks like Paradoxical Outcome, Doomsday, and more there. This is a highly played commander card, especially in competitive builds where tutors are critical. This also has been seeing more play because of Tiny Bones as well in the Commander format. The copy from Visions is up to $100, the one from 6th edition at $97.08, and the Eternal Masters copy is at $114.99. I think a lot of people were surprised this one didn't show up in Double Masters. Maybe it's going to be in Commander Legends. It is Cabal Coffers. The Torment copy is at $75. The Plane Chase copy, which is a little harder to find in good condition nowadays, that's at $99.74. This is a highly played commander card, many times played alongside Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. This is another card that's seen more play recently because of decks like Tiny Bones and Veto Thorn of the Dusk Rose. That brings us to Cavern of Souls, and as you can see, the value of this card has been increasing recently. You have the Avacyn Restored copy at $75, the Modern Masters 2017 at 80 
and the Ultimate Masters copy is $77.50. This card sees a ton of play all over the place. In Modern, you'll find this in Amulet Titan, Eldrazi Tron, the new Goblins builds, Humans, and more. Legacy, this is in Goblins decks, Eldrazi Stompy, and more there. This even sees a little vintage play, but again, we have another great Commander card here. This is awesome for Tribal builds, and it has seen increased play recently, not only in Goblin decks, but also in those Renin Siri Inseparable builds. I was really surprised when this one didn't show up in Double Masters. It's Mutavault. The Morning Tide copy is $18.96. The one from Magic 2014 is $15.68. This is a great Pioneer card in Mono Black Aggro, Mono Black Vampires, and more there. In Modern, you'll find this in Merfolk and other decks in that format. Even see some Legacy play. And in Commander, this shows up all the time. This is in Yuriko the Tiger, Shadow Builds, and much more. All right, we had Cabal Coffers, so we have to include Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, right? The original copy from Planar Chaos is at $33.24. The one from Magic 2015 is $25. And finally, the Ultimate Masters copy is at $26.49. Again, another card that sees Pioneer playing, Mono Black Aggro, Mono Black Vampires, and more. This also does see some modern legacy and even vintage play too. But this is a highly played Commander card. And again, like a lot of the cards we're talking about today, this is seeing more play because of Tiny Bones. And it's not a coincidence that a lot of the cards we talked about are seeing more play in that build. It has been a very popular build, and I do think as more people get their hands on that card from Jumpstart, you might see some of the cards in that deck continue to creep up in the coming weeks and months. All right, that does it for this Picks of the Month episode of The Market Watch. And there's a lot of cards, obviously, that weren't printed in Double Masters. I probably could have done a top 100 with a lot of really strong cards, but I wanted to narrow it down to some of the cards that I do think have the potential to be a little more explosive at least in the near term. Like I said, though, it is a gamble. I don't know if I've ever seen Wizards create reprints at such a rate, maybe back in the Chronicles 4th edition time period, but in recent history, this is definitely unprecedented. So it's hard to know what to expect and what's coming around the corner. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.